Iggy and B five six seven nine checking in. Top of the morning to you. Someone tell Red Pill, man. Tell tell Red Pill come get his Stiller merch, man. Someone tell Red Pill. News dispensary up there in Boston. Up there trying to bake a bean in Boston. Come get you. Come get your Stiller merch, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Top of the morning to you, mate. Top of the morning to you, mate. Ooh, look at that fancy art right there, baby. Salem's Market and Grill. Uh, I guess that's a little, not too fancy, not too shabby, eh? All right, let me think how I'm gonna hold this camera. Ah, let's take a walk. Let's take a walk, man. You know what? I wonder if we could flip this, huh? What do you say, mate? All right, man. Hell, oh, there we go. All right, top of the morning to you, mate. Top of the morning to you, mate. All right, guys, check it out. He gave me five, six, seven, nine. Checking in here. We're in the strip district right now. Headed downtown. Figured I'd, figured I'd take a walk this morning. Let's walk. Let's get on the feet. Let's get on the ground, right? Let's walk, baby. Let's walk. Let's do some walking. Let's talk. Let's walk and talk. So, I want everyone to know, first and foremost, uh, last night's live stream was immediately taken down by YouTube because of the Dark Water trailer I played exposing the chemicals fluoride that was a rat dude that was a rat exposing the chemicals fluoride and all the other mumbo jumbo that they put into our water all right and the movie we all are starting to figure out how they tell us what they do through movies and that's all I did was show the trailer and say exactly what I just said just now, right now. It's 29th, Mulberry Way. But I got a copyright strike, and usually it's just that they get paid. But because it was M NBC Universal Pictures, you know, these big time elite corporation, Kabbalist, Illuminati, Shabad corporations. Um, they took it down and banned it completely. Is that, are those grills, bro? Look at those things. Right there. Those look like grills. Those look nice. Anyway, um, so I'm going to screen record, uh, the Project Pogo and Zypher exposure video from last night. But right now I'm going to talk about it with you guys once again okay now first and foremost from my research and my gatherings I have came to the conclusion that Project Pogo government oversight is very real very real government oversight government oversight you know this is what they want us living in shit like that all right look at this man Guarantee you that ain't vacant right now. Oh, hands down. Guarantee there's people sleeping there right now. Shooting up, smoking crack, and everything under the sun. But maybe even them babies. But government oversight is a very real operation. Project Cypher. Tag all truthers. Tag YouTubers and truther channels and tag their chat rooms. But I feel like the YouTuber has to be involved in it. Just my the complete assumption. I just feel like the YouTuber has to be involved in it. <laughs> but I, they might not. They could be tagging a chat room right now. My thing is, they, to the YouTubers that don't show their face and stuff like that, if you're a female, it's way more understanding. If you're a male, you don't show your face and you're talking about you're a truther channel, you're talking this, that, mumbo jumbo, you're discredited immediately. As soon as you don't show yourself, you, I am, I am suspicious of you, or you're like a sove and you're just a coward. All the other ones I'm suspicious of right away. Like why ain't this dude showing himself? They know who we are. Come on, man. They know who everyone is. 
It's too late for that. It's too late. We let them get too far. We let them do too much. It's too late. It's too late. Only thing we can do now is stand up and defend the truth. Defend the Constitution. Defend our rights. The Patriot Act sealed the deal, man. It's over. Our privacy's been gone. Alright, but the government oversight is still, if you look it up, man, it's still a lot deeper than that. This is for a martial law scenario. I gotta switch hands. This is for like a martial law scenario. Something of the sorts. Shit like that, that they go pick people up and that helps them. Alright, that, that, that tags people. That's what Project Zypher is. Pogo's government oversight. Pogo's talking about like the, the social credit score. Where there are cameras everywhere. Your grocery stores are ran with no cashiers. Do you want to get to that point? Do you know how many jobs will be gone? Alright, they're already trying to do self Ubers and shit. I'll never get in one of them. Ever. Because they can't give a robot human senses, okay? They can't tell a robot that, that awareness when, when you stop at a stop sign and there's somebody about to cross. And you, you get that feeling like he might go. And you stop. The robot might keep going. Human senses was the other word I was looking for. God, I don't know, dude. But... Back to Project Pogo and Zypher. Okay, I don't, I'm not discrediting that. However, okay, Friends of David Goldberg YouTube channel is a complete It is a complete And I, David Goldberg, one, we don't know who he really is. Who is David Goldberg for real? Some dude that got killed. How the hell do we know he got killed? How the hell do we know he was ever real? There's one picture of that mofo I can find. One picture, and that's the one that Friends of David Goldberg is using. Huh. So who ain't to say that's Larry Miller? And he took his picture, and now he shows up under David Goldberg because of that damn YouTube channel. You know what I mean? That's how the algorithm linked together. All the other David Goldbergs are some dude in Silicon Valley. Remember that, guys. You can't find nothing on David Goldberg. Therefore, he probably never existed. I, I don't know enough on him to speak on it like that. Grandma, damn, John, slow as hell. So anyway, back to last night. I'm going to play the video again. I'm going to screen record just those specific sections of the video live stream last night. Because the whole live stream's gone. All right, but I can still see it because it's on my channel, right? So I'm going to play the part where David Goldberg tells no more news to take down his website called No More Jews, okay? No More News has a website, I guess, called No More Jews, and David, the, David Goldberg is telling him to take it down, all right? Then he admits he's still a Zionist, he still loves Israel, and he's still... A Jew happily ever after blah blah blibbity blame blame blue blue blackity blame blue all that mumbo jumbo he says then because that's the first video he ever put up then as you proceed on to David Goldberg's page friends of David Goldberg's page you will come across numerous videos of him telling people to go watch Adam Green no more news that David Goldberg left a will back and the will says to go subscribe to the YouTube channel called No More News. Really though? Really? That's called mixing truth with fake news, mixing misinformation with facts. That's just the art of war, man. Confusion, bro. It's confusing, it's miscommunication, not, not being straightforward, not being clear about what you say. Therefore, there's an agenda behind it, okay? So you guys use your own discernment when I play this. I'm telling you, okay? I'm telling you, a lot of times people call me wrong. People said I was wrong about John X Army. Now he's a crystal channel telling people to open their third eye. Wasn't wrong about him, was I? People were telling me I was wrong about more Fugal News. Hey, what do you know? 
Now there's about 600 to 1,000 people came forward since eight months ago telling me, hey man, Iggy, you were right, man. Sorry I was mad at you back then, because you were right, Iggy. Hey man, no hard feelings, man. You're defending someone you like. I'm okay with that, because my beef ain't with you. My beef for more fugal news, okay? As for all these clowns that involve themselves too, they're irrelevant, guys. Don't even pay attention to them. They are irrelevant, dude. I know the dude's waving guns and threatening people. I get it. Let him come do something then. He is irrelevant, cuz. That fat bastard is irrelevant. That's all I'm trying to say. But I've been told I was wrong before and I was right. Is all I'm trying to say. I'm trying to tell you, the freaking friends of David Goldberg, he's an actor. It's not real. It is not legit. Okay, the dude is telling you he's a Zionist, then he's exposing Zionism. The dude is telling you to unite and bring down anti-Semitism, but then he is anti-Semitic in his freaking videos because he's exposing Zionism. And guess what? If you expose Zionism, they call you anti-Semitic. It's not that hard. Hey, everyone last night, I'm not even talking to you guys. I'm talking to like a new viewer right now that didn't see last night. I, or someone that thinks this thing is real. Dude, it's not that hard to figure out, man. It's not, guys. It, I'm telling you, man. It, that page don't add up. There, there's, there is truth to it. I'm not saying it's all disinformation. I'm not saying it's all lies. There is truth to it. There is. Project Pogo and Project Zypher is very real. But it's been on the internet for three years now. So... It's not like this dude just came out with it. It's been out. All he's doing is taking what he finds on the internet and then twisting it. But I think what it is, it's the ADL, okay? It's the Anti-Defamation League. The all-Jewish corporation that's trying to take down YouTube channels. Who else would... Dude, who else does it make sense for to try to take down people exposing Zionism? Only ADL. They are doing that right now. They go after YouTube channels that expose Zionism. They call you anti-Semitic if you expose Zionism and try to take you down. And that's why David Goldberg is a Mossad ADL agent. That's who he's working for. That's who he was. He admits he's a Zionist. The dude, if he's real, he was a Zionist. He might not even be real. But the thing is, is the recordings are saying, hey, I'm David Goldberg and hey, I'm a Zionist. Well, hey, let's expose Zionism. That don't make sense. That's like saying I'm Christian and I'm satanic. It doesn't make sense. You can't be both. You can't do both. All right? Yo, what's up, guys? Real, real quick, my bad. Before I uh, play the recording, I figured I'd come down here, you know, just during my walk. Felt like I stopped down at the park. Maybe should. Ooh, they painted this. Holy smokes. Huh. Blue? Come on. Blue? We don't wear blue in this town. Black and yellow, baby. Um, anyway, but figured I'd stop down at my favorite park. Maybe go live, dude. Maybe shoot a couple clips, man. Hell yeah, bros. Guess freaking where, dude. Freaking right, man. You guessed it, dude. Freaking 57th Street and Butler, man. Hell freaking yeah, dudes. Totally back down at the Allegheny Cold Storage, dude. Fucking right, man. Hell freaking yeah, dude. We back down at the freaking park, guys. Freaking right, dude. <laughs> you know why? Because <laughs> I live two blocks over. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, bro, you guys, uh, you guys know I had this fat ass drive across the city for nothing, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's fat ass don't he hey dude look he thought look he thought he was so smart Dex is giving them all the information you know they're, they think they're smart meanwhile in my video when I expose more Fugu again you can see this right here that's what they that's what they don't get they act like there's some type of hackers that track people but you can see that dude so when I make the video, you can clearly see Allegheny Cool Storage Company. So what do you do? You freaking Google it, dude. Oh, you probably seen Arco Field too. I didn't even think about Arco Field, but that I know you could see, right? 
Chiefs. Obviously, they just put that in the Google. But you know, he acted like he was like some big hacker that tracked me down. That's a cornball, cuz. He can't, he can't tell the truth about nothing. Bro, look, that fat bastard can't tell the truth about nothing. He's just like Soap. They can't tell the truth about anything, right? Like how Dex is giving him everything he has, all the money he got, everything. He's a bum. He's a truck driver. Now he's not a truck driver. You know what I mean? He does not want to go there. But um, he'll definitely try to use his gun. Is that a freaking ladder down here, dude? Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to squeeze that in there real quick. I've played this video now. I'm going to... My little cousins are coming down here. I'm play with them in the park for a little bit, throw a little bit of football and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, love you, man. It gave me five seven nine. <laughs> Look at this fat ass. Look at it, dummy. <laughs> I drove all the way across the city for nothing. <laughs> hey, one more time for all my old time sake, just to rub it in. Fifty seven Butler. <laughs> just to rub it in, you fat ass. Got him, dickhead. <laughs> Got him. Ogre Project Zypher is. It's been on the internet for a while now. I, it's not new. So originally, I thought that No More News was pushing this, and I, he, I don't even know. Like I don't, I don't know this dude. I don't know. But I thought he was like promoting his channel because it was like some random dude that had a government had a had a White House. Look, this is what this dude said. He has White House um, officials sending him stuff to tell us on the internet. I don't bite on that. That shit is just like, oh, all right, man. Okay. Like, all right, but, and at first he was saying, uh, David Goldberg left back a will to go, everyone go sign up to no more news. So I'm like, what? Uh, now this dude left back a will and it just sounded funny. Now I've come by the first video. I've never listened to the first video. The first video tells it all. It tells it all. The dude is a, is a Zionist. He's a Zionist. Come on. We can't. Now I'm first, let me show you his page. Let me show you the confusion around this. All right, it just don't. This is what this is what a psyop is. If there's anything that's confusing, if it's not solid truth, if it's not solidly just saying what it is, that's a psyop. Anytime there's something that's coming this way and this way and this way, and you're like, wait a minute, how's he a Zionist, but he's exposing Zionism, and then he don't like anti-Semitism, but he's saying he loves Israel. That don't go together. You can't be anti-Semitic from Israel as a Zionist, but you're anti-Semitic talking about Zionists, exposing Israel, but you're part of them. That don't make that. That's a, that's a, that's what a psyop is. They try to over flood your brain brain with information, and then they send these miscommunications um, like signals to get. It confuses me at least. <laughs> Maybe it don't confuse everyone else, but it confuses me. So check this out. This is his page, right? Off the rip, guys. Off the rip right now. Off the rip. Off the rid nap. Do you see what it says? It says, the Jewish community unites to say no to anti-Semitism. Hashtag, enough is enough. Now, this is the channel. Friends of David Goldberg. This is David Goldberg. Right here. This is David Goldberg. This is supposed to be David Goldberg. Now, let me tell you something else, guys. If you... Come if you search the internet, you will not find a picture of David Goldberg. That is the only picture of David Goldberg on the internet. Every other David Goldberg is some dude from Silicon Valley that tells secrets about Silicon Valley. Weird, right? How does the other big name David Goldberg is a someone that's telling secrets about Silicon Valley? It's almost like this name got you know, I, I don't know. That's me reaching, but this is proof of everything else. I'm proving this. No, he's saying it himself. So, can't find no pictures of David Goldberg. That picture I just showed you, that's supposed to be him now. Now, that's supposed to be David Goldberg. Do we know that? We don't know that. They don't tell you, but this is supposed to be the only picture of him that was ever left, that was ever found. Like, at this day and age, come on, man. Come on. Come on. That, the, dude, there's a sergeant, this Israel dude that's following me on Twitter, right? Sergeant Benjamin. I can find pictures of him. All right, I rest my case. <laughs> Get rowdy. All right, so friends of David Goldberg, this is the channel that dropped this stuff first. This big ass lie, this Jewish psyop. This is his cover photo. Say no to anti-Semitism. Now, guys, the thing is. 
He's exposing Zionism. He's exposing the Zionist agenda. Does that make sense to you? That he would say, say no to anti-Semitism, but, he say, but he's exposing the Zionist agenda? That is anti-Semitism. If you expose the Zionist agenda, they call you anti-Semitic. You get what I'm saying? You, it doesn't go together. It's like saying you're Christian and you're Zionist. Guys, but it gets way deeper than that. Now, if you scroll down here, right? And look, this is the thing where he talks about Project Pogo and Project Zypher for 26 minutes. But look, also right here, look, Project Pogo, Pogo and Zypher. Okay? Now, all of this can basically be discovered on the internet. Everything he's saying, everything he's showing can be either faked or found on the internet to make a fake. So you find it on the internet and then you make your own fake document. You get what I'm saying? I'm, let, I'm giving you the intel from a, a fake YouTuber's way. This is what a fake YouTuber would do. I can see it from this side of the screen. If I was to fake something, I can look up Project Pogo. If I was good enough to fake these documents, I could go like this. And I could pull up the, and then you just make them look like you pull up something that's real, and then you try to match it the best you can. You know what I mean? Like that's what that's what scumbags do. I mean, now if you go all the way down here, right here, guys, this first one, who do you see on that thumbnail? You see freaking Adam Green from No More News. Okay, you see Adam Green from No More News seven months ago. Jewish organization seeks to shut down Adam Green. So now they're saying, I'm going to let you into hear this. This dude admits he's a Zionist. He's a Mossad ADL agent. ADL, like, you know, Anti-Defamation League, that, that website I always pull up. That's what this dude is. That's what David Goldberg was. Now, just listen to his words, guys. I'm not, we'll, we'll talk about it after. A, actually, we'll talk about it afterwards. Let's do that. Let, let me let you hear it first. I'm talking too much as it is. Adam Green, listen to me. I'm making phone calls to my Jewish friends in New York. I'm making phone calls to my friends in the media. I'm making phone calls to my friends at many top Jewish organizations. And I'm going to tell, I'm, I am telling them about you, and I'm going to continue to tell them about you. And we are going to shut you down. Unless you shut yourself down. Adam Green, shut it down. Shut it all down. Close your YouTube channel if you know what's good for you. Because you are spewing hatred toward the Jews. By stating facts and then making criticisms, and that is illegal. Everyone knows that criticizing Jews is anti-Semitic and it is illegal in his hate speech. Why don't you know that? Why are people? Why are you even allowed to exist, you little cockroach? You anti-Semitic goy cockroach. You have no right. Really, listen to what he's saying. What you're saying about listen to us. And you're making a lot of good points, and you're making valid arguments. <laughs> okay, so you have a dude that's telling a man to, to – he's trying to discredit Adam Green, but he's t saying that you're making a lot of good points, and you're making valid arguments to white people? Like what? Come on. You're using video and evidence and facts to back up what you're saying, and it's reaching people, and we cannot have that. We have to shut it down. So I'm calling you out. I'm letting you know I'm aware of you. I know what you're up to. We see what you're doing. And it is making too much noise. And it's making too much sense to the Gentiles. You're reaching white people. You're reaching black people and Latinos and Asians and Americans. And you're making sense. And they're starting to put the puzzle pieces together. They're starting to connect the dots. And that's hate speech. That's anti-Semitism. Listen, listen. You're criticizing Jewish people. That is hate speech. Don't you see what's going on in Congress? Don't you see what Donald Trump is doing? We're there passing laws. It's going to be illegal, you clown. All of you. It's going to be illegal to criticize Jewish people. We are finally going to shut you anti-Semites up, put you in your place. We are the Jewish people. We are the chosen people. Don't you know that? We rule over you. Israel is your... York Vango. That's...
that's a very good point. Check this shit out. You just said that dude sound familiar, familiar, right? Dude. You know who he sounds like, right? Authority. Do you understand that? We control your government. You are Goyam. You are nothing but cattle to us. Don't you know? I guess you don't know because we keep it a very good secret. Our rabbinical and our, our Talmud and our rabbinical teachings are hidden from most of you. You're just too stupid to even look it up. They teach us to lie to you. You are cattle. You serve us. Adam Green, you serve me. And you serve Jared Kushner, the Mashiach. Tell me something, guys. Do you remember the night John Smith had me play Abraham Frecklestein about the McDonald's being all Jewish corporation of, of the dead people and body parts. Tell me this voice is in exactly the same voice. Really though, really though. If the Messiah, you serve Donald Trump. He is a Jew now, you serve him. So shut up, shut it down. But we will shut it down for you. This is your first and final warning. Delete your channel. Shut up. Stop reaching people with intelligent arguments and facts and pointing things out. Because any criticism of Jewish people is hate speech and it is anti-Semitic. And you will go to prison because you are speaking things that we don't like. Just you wait and see. Now, I have been poisoned, and I have brought that UVs outside my house. I don't know why. I can't put it all together yet. Listen to this part. He just said, I have been poisoned, and I have black SUVs outside my house, but I can't put it all together yet. Where the hell do you know people that are being wa- that can just say this, and, and it's just, you know, look, mind you, he's been saying this for months, this dude. Listen to the next sentence, though. Listen to what he says. I believe the Trump administration is behind all of this, Listen. but I am still a Jew. I still love Israel. I am still a Zionist. I am still a Jew. I still love Israel. I am still a Zionist. This is supposed to be David Goldberg, guys. This is supposed to do, be the dude that brought us Project Pogo and Zypher when it's been on the internet for three years. You, you, you see what I'm saying, huh? It's a Jewish psyop, man. So if they have their reasons to shut me up, so be it. I was proud of the fact that Trump is a Jew. I'm proud of the fact that he believes Kushner is the Messiah. But apparently they don't want that information out. And now they're targeting me. One of their own. One of their own who has been fitting 25 years for Jewish issues. But I am a good Jew and I understand right here, well. reasons. And my enemy is the Gentile, the cattle. You can copy it right there. When they rise up and they think that they can tell us what to do and that they think they can speak what they want to speak and say what they want to say, we have to put it down. We've got to shut it down. Shut down your channel, Adam Green. This is your final warning. Okay. So. Do you guys get what I'm saying? How this dude is trying to warn. He's trying to tell Adam Green, take your channel down right now. This was his first video ever. But listen, I'm not going to go through all of them. I promise you, my word is bond. I promise you, if you go through these videos, he tells people to go subscribe to Adam Green. Listen, I kid you not. This man that just said, Adam Green, you're a freaking cockroach. Take your channel down. You're making valid points about Zionism, this, that, and the third, all that bullshit, all that blah, 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 actor, fake YouTuber shit. He says, take it down now. Take it down, you white cockroach. Then, in all these other videos, he says, hey, guys, David Goldberg left back on his will. Adam Green on No More News is a great friend of his. Go subscribe to his channel. Go watch him. Really? Really? What the hell is going on here? What in the hell is going on here? And then, like I told Kelly the other day, this dude was having phone sex with some Jewish lady in Brooklyn on one of these videos in here. On one of these videos, he has phone sex. I kid you not. 
you know what? I think this is it. This might be. My videos is giving you information that you cannot get anywhere. When no one cares about the state of Israel, me out. The only insurance known is excellent. And the information is too damaging, and it could boys and girls all to fight. And there is going to be bloodshed in the name of Moloch and you will. They're fair porn. It's a Jewish psyop, dude. Do you hear what he's saying? Hold on, I'll find it. He's having phone sex with a with a with a freaking lady. Come on, cuz. Come on, man. The hell is it? This one? I'm not about There's to go through all this. about Jared Kushner's and saying now is predictive programming. It is are already seeing it happen. False flag update. Iran rule out. Iran time to prove. Trump reportedly wants White House insider tactical nuke. See, he has a White House insider. Watch out. Another YouTuber with a White House insider. Got it here. This dude's a clown, bro, whoever did this. He's terrible at that. He messed his whole thing up. But I think it, I think this is ADL. I think this is the Anti-Defamation League doing this, man. It, they, the stuff that the information that they have on it is too, like, like the, they really know the truth part of it. The truth part of it is Project Pogo and Project Zypher is for real. That's, that's. Oh, you're good, bro. You're good, Hannibal. Do your thing, bro. The, the thing, you're good, Hannibal. Do your thing, brother. The thing is, is that Project Pogo and Project Zypher is a real thing. I mean, you can bing it, Google it, DuckDuckGo it, and it will come up. Uh, operation for complete government oversight. Pogo. Project something government oversight. That's what Pogo is. P-O. The last G-O is government oversight. I know that. The hell is P-O again, man? And Zypher, they run hand in hand. They run hand in hand with each other. It's like you can't have one without the other type thing. But, um, do I want to show you guys this dude having phone sex? I don't even know if it's worth going through all this stuff, man. Him having phone sex with some lady on here. And, and, and all of these talking about to go and, um, Sign up to Adam News, but yet in the first video, he's telling him to take his shit down. He's this and that. I'm gonna, I, 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 I got some of the transcripts. I typed them up. I'm going to read it to you. Um, actually, let me do that now. Um, but don't think I'm discrediting Project Pogon Zypher because that is what needs to, to – that's what needs to be um, remembered and recognized here is that that's – Still for real, okay? Now, he says, you are making too much sense to white people. You are making valid points. They are starting to put the puzzle pieces together. Shut it down, you cockroach. Like, just his grammar, just what he's saying is just like, you're giving him credit for telling the truth and being on point and waking people up, but then you're trying to scare them. It just doesn't sound right to me. Like, it just... Don't go together. Um, actually, I'm not reading all this. That uh, uh, the, of the like he says, I'm still a Jew, a Zionist. They must have their reasons. I've promoted Jewish causes for 25 years. My enemy is the Gentile. So he's saying we're his enemies. He's a Zionist. How is he exposing the Zionist agenda of Project Pogo Zypher and and uh, um? elites that are from Israel that's part of our government, which we know to be true. We know that they're running our shit. We are giving them ten and a half million a day in our tax money. Our tax money. You go to work for, they go to work for, they go to work for, he, she, everyone that pays taxes, ten and a half million dollars a day goes to Israel. Why? We are the ones in debt. Israel is way above being in debt. We're in debt. Why are we giving them money? The hell? Come on, man. What's really, really going on here? What's really going on here? Hmm? 
David Goldberg is a Mossad ADL agent. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, okay, so I'll go from there to, um, was I going to show you in something? Was I, did I just say I was about to do right before I, I was going to read the transcripts? I said I was going to. Oh my gosh, my mind's fried, dude. What did I just say I was going to do? I don't know. I'm just going to show you this picture of this. Dude, what did I say I was about to do? Forget. I forget. Okay, right here. Now, like I said, only picture of David Goldberg is this one right here. Supposedly. Now, this is the other David Goldberg. I was just talking about David Goldberg. Secrets from Silicon Valley. And this is him. If you look at that dude right there, he doesn't look like this dude at all. They are not the same person. This dude and this dude are not the same person. Yet, both their names are David Goldberg and they're like up in the government or, or Silicon. Never mind, not up in the government. Wait, that so the biggest thing. See him? Doesn't really look like uh same guy, right? This is David Goldberg. So who's this guy? You, sh you schmig a deal? Do you schmig a deal me? Schmig a deal? Was I about to show you something on here? I cannot recall. Oh, you know what? That's what I'm doing. I'm talking about... Okay. All right, let me come back over here with you guys. I do got a couple articles to show. I know Iggy is very serious and concentrating tonight, but I'm going to request a sprinkler before the end of the live. No, no, what do you mean? Why you say that? Because I wasn't reading the chat? No, no, I wasn't. I can't see the chat when I'm sharing the screen. I, I'm not looking. Pull it up. Let me pull it up. Cops live on you. And you guys, block the mods. Now I want you to block. Admitted it. Oh, I troll Iggy with. My bad about my language, guys. Basically, in the last. 24 hours. Where's Red Pill at? Alright guys, just want to show you that. Um, YouTube took this video down right away last night, blocked it in all countries. So, um, you know guys. Should should probably give um everyone a heads up that we was probably on point about something last night. Uh blocked in every country. Um, you know, they always got an excuse for it, but still I show movie trailers all the time. Think about it. Think about it, guys. Just a couple weeks ago. Or shit, just a couple of days ago. Showing a movie about the fire, the movie with Angelina Jolie. Remember that? Yeah. Not one of them. I showed I showed three trailers in the same movie. Three trailers. I mean, in the same video I showed, three movie trailers, that video is still up. So, hmm, I don't know what it was about this video, but evidently we hit a spot somewhere. So we'll see if this one stays up. Anyway, love you guys, man. Please share this video. Um, I'm on um, Heavy Shadow Band. Go check out my backup channel, backup channel Shadow Band TV. Um, and like, share, subscribe, guys. Iggy 5679 checking out. Much love.